Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MS Safety webcast. In this video, we will see the steps on how to deploy a domain controller using the install from media option. Normally, installing a domain controller on an existing domain creates the ADDS database structure, but it has no data until the server can receive replication traffic from the other domain controllers when the domain controllers for a particular domain are well connected such as by the local area network replication occurs automatically and almost immediately after the new domain controller is installed when you install a domain controller at a remote location however the connection to the other domain controllers is most likely a wide area network link which is typically slower and more expensive than the lan connection in this case the initial replication with the other domain controllers can be much more of a problem the slow speed of the wan link might cause the replication to take a long time and might flood the connection delaying regular traffic If the domain controllers are located in different ADDS sites no replication occurs until an administrator creates and configures the required site links remember the first replication that occurs after the installation of a new domain controller is the only one that requires the servers to exchange a complete copy of the ADDS database in subsequent replications The domain controllers exchange information about only the objects and attributes that have changed since the last replication. By using an install from media option, you can avoid these problems by creating domain controller installation media that include a copy of the ADDS database. By using this media, when installing a remote domain controller, The data is installed along with the database structure and no initial replication is necessary. To create install from media, you must run the ndsutil.exe program on a domain controller running the same version of Windows that you intend to deploy. On an existing domain controller, using file explorer, create a folder. For example, c colon slash ifm to store the ADDS snapshot right click on start menu and select windows powershell admin at powershell type command ndsutil and press enter key at ndsutil prompt type activate instance ndds and then press enter type ifm and press enter type command create syswall full and specify the location to store the media files I'll store in the folder which we have created earlier. Type location c colon slash ifm. Now press enter key to create ifm media files. The process can take few moments depending on the size of the ADDS database. The domain controller will create a temp database located under the temp folder before writing to the target ifm folder specified. The process completes. and writes the directory data to the specified folder open file explorer go back to the ifm folder on a c drive and double click on ifm folder here we can see three folders copy of adds database registry entries and copy of syswall folder you can copy this data to any location including network shares and external hard drives to be accessed during the deployment of the target domain controller so we have successfully created the ifm media file now we need to use this installation media file to deploy the new additional domain controller this is our second windows server 2022 vm on which we want to deploy domain controller using install from media option log into the server in which you will be deploying the adds role and promoting to a domain controller ensure that you can access the ifm file set either from a network share or a copy 
saved on a removable drive. I have already copied the IFM folder from my domain controller. I have stored the IFM folder on desktop, which you can see here. Let's start by installing the Active Directory Domain Services server role on this server. Launch Server Manager. Click on Manage and select Add Roles and Features. Click Next on Before You Begin page. Ensure that the default of role base or feature base installation is selected. Then click Next. Select your local server from the list and click Next. The Select Server Role page enables you to select the roles you want to install on your server. Select Active Directory Domain Services. On our dialog box asking to install features that are required for EDDS, click Add Features to accept the installation of these features. Now click Next to continue. On the Select Features page, select any additional server feature you want to install on this server and then click Next. The Active Directory Domain Services page provides you with information and items to note about ADDS. Read the information provided. Click Next. Note the information provided on the Confirm Installation Selection page and then click on Install to begin installing Active Directory Domain Services on the local server. The wizard displays an installation progress page that charts the process of installation. After a few seconds, it displays the page that informs you that the ADDS role has been installed successfully. Now we will add this server as an additional domain controller in our existing AD domain msftwebcast.com using the IFM media file. To proceed with the installation, click on link labeled Promote this server to a domain controller. After you click Promote this server to a domain controller, the Active Directory Domain Services Configuration Wizard starts with the Deployment Configuration page. Select Add a Domain Controller to an Existing Domain option. This option will be selected by default. Since this server is not joined to the existing domain, you will need to click the Change button to enter in Domain Administrator's credentials. Click on Change. Type Domain Administrator's username which is administrator at msftwebcast.com. Now type Password. Click OK. Since we have a single domain AD Forest, the domain name will be filled automatically. If you have multiple domains in your forest, click on Select and choose the domain for which you want to add a new domain controller. In our case, msftwebcast.com is the name of our existing domain. Click OK and click on Next. On the Domain Controllers Options page, options to make this DC a DNS server and a global catalog are selected by default. The default first site name should be selected for the site name unless you have created a new one. Enter a password for the directory services restore mode. Now click Next. You will be warned that a delegation for this DNS server cannot be created. This can be safely ignored. Click Next. On additional options page, check the box for install from media. Let's browse the path and select the IFM folder which we have stored on the desktop. The wizard will verify the path and content of that folder. Choose where you want your DC to replicate from. Active Directory can replicate from any domain controller or a specific one. We will keep it to default and click Next. On the Paths page, confirm the location for ADDS database files, log files and syswall. You can either use the default location or select another folder of your choice. We'll go with the default locations. Click Next. Confirm your selections on the Review Options screen and click Next. Windows will then perform a prerequisites check. After the wizard performs a prerequisites check, click Install to promote the server to a domain controller using the Install from Media option. Click on Install to begin the process. The process will promote the server using the offline IFM data 
to speed up the promotion process. The installation takes a few moments to complete and progress is listed in the operation results box. Note any messages that might appear on the progress section of the installation page. After the promotion has completed, the server will reboot automatically to complete the process. After reboot, sign into your server computer using the domain administrator's account. This server is now successfully added as an additional domain controller in our existing Active Directory domain using IFM option. Upon login, the server manager will open automatically. On server manager, click on tools and select Active Directory users and computers. Expand domain name and click on domain controllers OU. Verify that both domain controllers are listed here. That means we have successfully deployed the domain controller using installed from media option on this Windows Server 2022. That's all for this video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.